Hello, trading is closed on November 26, 2019. Let's go over our calls and let's see how the uh, rally this week over resistance has affected the long-term picture. Called for the pattern with the early high. This is it. Tomorrow's pattern has the early low. If you don't drop early, it tends to be a positive day. The low of the day was the first bar. High today was the last bar. It's a positive pattern. Unless we invalidate it by gapping down smartly, higher prices, not necessarily a higher close, but higher prices should print tomorrow. <clears throat> Early on, we had this rally. MJT said it was false. Price would retrace to the yellow lines. They did. Here it said lower price it would print, but they wouldn't stick and they'd retrace to the white lines and they did that too. Well, this rally has gone um, higher than I thought it would, so let's see how that changes the picture. Now, I did a reasonably good job of saying this low wasn't going to lead to a collapse. But since then, I've been looking for this to end and it just keeps going up. I had this as A and this is B and I was calling this blue B and it still doesn't break any rules. Um, I felt this business here wasn't really impulsive enough for me but um, someone pointed out a couple of weeks ago this really looks like an impulse and I said I couldn't so there wasn't my my favorite count, but I couldn't say it was wrong. And the higher we go, I think the more likely it is that he was right. Of course, that's not the only way to count this. That's why the question marks are there. But until I'm proven wrong, we'll call this ABC for wave brown two and we'll pretend, we'll assume we're in wave brown three up. Doesn't mean you can just go along with abandon. But if that is the count, then a drop from this point is limited to maybe 100 points or so because it can't intersect with that. Um, one thing that impressed me this week was we had this beautiful trend line, great resistance, all kinds of patterns, Fibonacci resistance and other stuff saying that was going to hold and we broke through it. And, um, of course, it could be a false break, but I'm going to assume that this line was challenged so many times that this breakout means higher prices are, are, are coming. doesn't mean you won't go through it again. I don't think, <coughs> I don't think it means you can just go along with abandon here. We have what still looks like a rising wedge. And we're coming close to the apex and we still haven't been able to break over that trend line. Now the apex is about 3150 and it comes in a couple of days. There's resistance there and that 3150 price is also a FIB target of the prior consolidation. And if this is one and that's two and that's three and we don't know of what degree if that's the case, and if it ends at 3150, there'll be a clear fib relationship between one and three. So we're going to have to keep our eyes peeled for 3150 cash probably before the end of the week as resistance. Well, here's what I have. Wednesday's pattern has the early low. If we don't drop early, it tends to be a positive day. High comes in the final hours doesn't have to be higher than the early low, but usually it is. It is positive. We started off the low day, the first five minute bar, <coughs> at the high in the last five minute bar. We couldn't close over this um, midday high. Kind of tempers the bullishness somewhat. But unless we drop a big early, I think we'll see higher prices. But again, I'm not looking for a huge rally from here. 
Long-term picture is quite bullish as contrary to my original interpretation. The current advance seems to be impulsive. Short-term, we do have issues. <coughs> the volatility indices are at their lower Bollinger Bands. They haven't reversed yet, but if they reverse, that gives a sell signal. There's also a trend line and FIB resistance at 3150 cash. <coughs> and if we hit that before the end of the week, it would be another resistance level. And it could lead to a 100-point drop if we get it. So tomorrow's pattern is the early low. If it isn't a big drop early, we should see higher prices. But I think the upside's limited to maybe 10 points and the downside maybe to 100. And that could all change tomorrow because the count we have isn't the only count. Early low, and that's today's call.